Well, he started off as a Instagram uh, video. I thought I should film a couple of sets just to, to show that, you know, even though it was not really time to drive to the gym and, you know, that's just not a great excuse, but I thought, hey, since I couldn't really show up, at least I could do some presses so I can, you know, help strengthen my bench press. So I, I stayed at uh, 38.5 kg for most of my sets. I did a set with uh, 41 kg per hand. Single arm floor presses. That's the wind, it's going crazy. Uh, so what started as a YouTube clip ended up as a, you know, a full blown clip. And uh, yeah, it was great, no elbow pain. Floor presses are amazing for the lockout. Great exercise, one of my favorites. Pin presses, floor press with a barbell and the accessory with uh, dumbbells. So I hope you all had a great day and uh, thank you for watching. Welcome to another video. And uh, what I did today was um, decided to stay at home. I didn't go to the gym. Uh, my friend Thanos, my, he's basically my uh, massage therapist. You know, he that's the guy that breaks down all my knots so I can get back in the gym and, and train my ass off. And Thanos came on Tuesday because we couldn't do it in the weekend. I mean, Sunday would be a little better for me. But I, you know, my forearm, my right forearm is the one that gets usually uh, jammed up. And I can't, you know, I, I can't, like I can uh, close my hand and flex it as hard as I can but then I cannot extend my arm. I just cannot look out. And uh, that's because it happens usually with the heavy grippers. And, you know, I can't, I can't do all the stuff that I do, you know, conjugate method running my own uh, system basically. And then switching all these different exercises and then expect my, my hands and arms to be healthy, especially after 14 years. I mean, I'll be 41 in June and uh, I can see that more and more that my forearm, my right arm is uh, pretty damaged. I'm still, I'm still hanging, hanging in there, but you know, I, I gotta take care of it more and better. So I decided, I, I thought I was gonna skip uh, today. It's Wednesday, uh, but then again, I'm, I got four weeks to train. Uh, if not even, I think, yeah, it's three or four weeks to train because I'm resting the week of the contest, obviously. And I thought I can't really rest. So I thought I should take it easy. I should stay relatively light. That's about 75%. I'm sure I could do about 50 kg uh, floor presses per hand. But why push it? So I stayed at, I did eight sets of eight repetitions. Uh, th this is the this is the heaviest set at uh, 41 kg. This is my Olympic dumbbell. Uh, I can't remember the company, the brand. But uh, it, they really have saved my ass, man. They really have. Like I can do shit from home that uh, I, I, I carry them to the, in the gym as well, but uh, they're fantastic for, for home. Um, I did uh, I did this today. This was eight sets. I, I filmed seven for some reason, but I, I could swear that I filmed eight, but I didn't. And then uh, these are the seven sets of eight reps. I uh, kept it at, you know, 70, 75%. They were heavy enough to get a decent pump. I didn't, but I didn't kill my, I didn't kill myself. It was good, it was good stuff. Uh, I use the fat grips pretty often as you can probably see in my latest like June, uh, January and February videos because I work with grippers uh, quite intensely and uh, I usually have no fingers left on Monday, which is, not, which is not a great thing to do. It's not the smartest thing to do because as you probably know, there's like you know, there's, you know, there's kinetic linking and there's also the muscle connection between fingers and forearm and bicep and tricep and shoulder. As in, you know, if, if your hands are trashed, obviously your bench is gonna suffer even by a little bit, you know, 2.5%, 5% compared to your max. Like if my hands are trashed, I cannot guarantee that I'm gonna give, if I maxed out on that specific day, I would definitely do a little more weight had my hands been fresh and or my forearms had been without any pain. So I use the fat grips so I can give my fingers a, a break and uh, basically have the, you know, the weight in my, in my, the palm of my hand without having to squeeze. You can see my thumb is not even like wrapping around the, the, the fat grip. I just, I'm just stabilizing it in the palm of my hand. And it really, it really helps so I could focus on my presses. Another thing is that I'm, I'm pretty much suffering with uh, elbow tendinitis, which has to do with the unconscious muscle 
it's a, a tiny little muscle on the forearm on the top right as we're looking at at the top of my right arm, I guess, or the left arm is to the left side. And um, this has been going on from, you know, manual labor, working in factories. I've had that for over a decade. It's been going on for, you know, maybe 14, 15, 15 years now. So, I mean, you can't have it all. The floor presses don't, don't irritate that elbow. It really doesn't hurt almost at all. Just slightly as I'm initiating the the concentric phase, you know, the, the way up from the, from the bottom to the to the to the top, but very little compared to the bench press, which is you know like full flexion or as much as I can flex with a barbell uh, limiting that uh, range of motion. So it was a it was a great workout. I found I actually finally found a little time since it's just you know the same sets. Um, with with it's just the same one movement one exercise so I thought I should mumble a little bit and explain to you guys how I, I operate um, at this point I want to take a second to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel it's just one click all you have to do is click on it and it really helps with the algorithm like I said in the previous video my views compared to last year almost tripled they're like you know they, they were up like 60 65 percent which is great but uh, you know when i get messages and i get i get the decent amount of messages on instagram and from my, from my friends the people that i've coached that you know like your content deserves more views like you're spitting out a decent amount of knowledge i know i'm not fucking you know matt winning i know i'm not ed Cohn. i know i'm not mark bell but i am doing my best you know i'm a student of the game and uh, I really, really love what I do. I read about it. I kicked my tripod over there. Yeah, I kicked it a little bit. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna push it again soon. But anyway, I'm, I try to do my best. I read as much as I can, and I try to put out the best content that I can. So if you guys support, the more support I get, the better the content. You know what I'm talking about. You know. Let's get the best out of this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.